What is up, everybody? So, okay. Either yesterday or today, James Gunn has laid out his, so far, his 10-year plan for DC Studios. It says, Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters. And I lost my faith in DC a long time ago. And the fact that they fired, they brought back Henry Cavill, and then they fired him again. The, you, you took away Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot. Zack Snyder already made the slate for the Trinity. And he had a great Batman with Ben Affleck. And he had a great Superman with Henry Cavill. Same thing with Wonder Woman. Uh, with Gal Gadot. So, I don't know how much faith I have in James Gunn, but we're gonna fucking see. Um, I don't have too much faith, but let's see. Hey everybody, I'm James Gunn. I'm the co-CEO of DC Studios. So as many of you know, DC has been disconnected in film and television for a long time. And it's yeah, one of so you know, our jobs, mine and Peter's, is to come in and make sure the DCU is connected in film, television, gaming, and animation. Well, that with the, the crisis thing, with the Flash on TV, by the same actors, you know, as a middle Flash, you know, story. whatever. And if something is outside of that, like Matt Reeves' Batman or Todd Phillips' Joker or Teen Titans Go, that it is clearly labeled as DC Elseworlds, outside of okay. the mainstream DCU continuity. Now, Peter and I have gotten pretty low. And I'm on board with that. Four projects that are coming out over the next year. First, we have Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Shazam! has always been off kind of in his own part of the DCU, so he connects very well. That moves directly into The Flash, a fantastic movie that I really love that resets the entire DC universe. And then to move into Blue Beetle, a fantastic film. Oh, it's still keeping Blue Beetle, okay. A kid who's a marvelous part of the DCU, and then into Aquaman 2, which leads directly into our next few projects, which I'm gonna tell you about now. So, Peter and I, along with a group of very talented writers, have started to map out an eight to 10 year plan of what DC Studios will be in film, television, and gaming. This first chapter is called so all Gods gonna be and connected. Monsters. Now this, what I'm about to tell you, is a part of the first chapter. It's not the entire first chapter. The first project is Creature Commandos. Creature Commandos is an animated series. I've written all the episodes. Something we're going to do that's mm -hmm. a little bit different at DC is we're going to have characters move into animation, out of animation, usually having the same actor play their voice as who plays them in live action. The okay. next project I up deal with is that. Waller. This is a story of Amanda Waller, played by Viola Davis. Viola All right, keeping, Davis is going to keep team Waller, up keeping with the same actress. Of okay. Peacemaker, and this is a story that's been created by Crystal Henry, who did Watchmen, and Jeremy Carver, who created the Doom Patrol. It is a fantastic story. And that's yet, out Doom Patrol is canceled along with Davis. Titans. Okay, next up is the big one: the true beginning of the DCU. This is called Superman Legacy. This is being written by me. I'm in the middle of it. I'm having a great time Superman doing it. Superman Legacy. And Superman will be released into theaters July 11th, 2025. Okay, mm. the next thing is a big I would have liked HBO Superman Men of Tomorrow, but I... Series called Lanterns. This is a story of a couple okay. of Green Lanterns, Jon Stewart and Hal Jordan, and we have a few other Lanterns peppered in there, but this is really a terrestrial TV show, which is almost like True Detective with a couple of Green Lanterns who are space cops watching over Precinct Earth. In it, they discover a terrifying mystery that ties into our larger story of the DCU. Next is okay. a big movie called okay. The Authority. The Authority is a passion project of mine. It's based on the marvelous Wildstorm characters. We are now bringing into the DCU and will interact with all of our primary DCU characters. Okay, lesser known characters. Are a group okay. Of superheroes who think the world is broken and they want to fix it by any means necessary. I think it's a very different look at superheroes. We're doing a television series called Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost is the story of Paradise Island, usually known as the mascara. mascara, which is the birthplace of Wonder Woman. It's almost like Game of Thrones with Westeros, but with all of the inhabitants of Paradise Island. The introduction okay. of the DCU's Batman oh, is here we the go. Brave and the Bold. The Brave and the Bold is the story of Batman and his actual son, Damian Wayne. What this the is fuck? based on Grant Morrison's great comic book run 
Damian Wayne is my so favorite. So you just Robin. skip Dick He's Grayson, Jason Todd, Batman Ken Drake. To line. And so this is the story of the two of them and the beginning of sort of the Bat family in the DCU. Next up is a TV series called Booster Gold. Booster Gold is one of Khan's yeah, really Booster popular Gold is still on. Okay. heroes. He is a fascinating guy. He's a loser from the future who uses future technology to come back to present day and become a superhero so that people will love him. It is basically the superhero story of imposter syndrome on an HBO Max series. One of my favorite comic book series from last year was Tom King's run on Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. And so we're going to turn that into a big science fiction epic film. Now, Superman is a guy who was sent to Earth and raised by loving parents. Whereas Supergirl, in this story, she is a character who was raised on a chunk of Krypton. She watched everybody around her perish in some terrible way. So she's a much more jaded character. And that brings me mm. to Swamp Thing, the last thing we're going to talk Swamp about. Thing. A very dark horror story in the origins of the monster who is Swamp But we had a Swamp Thing TV show and it got canceled. The the it was good. TV, it will still feed into the rest of the stories. Anyway, those are the stories that I can tell you about right now. I've loved the DC characters since I was a child. They're incredibly important to me. I knew that this was a once in a lifetime opportunity to do something very different. One of the things that's very important for me in all of these movies and TV series is that the director's vision and the vision of the writers and all of the creators is unique and something special. Storytelling is always king. That's all that matters to us. And I want to be true to those stories. I want to be true to you guys and really give you something different than you've ever seen before. Anyway, thank you, everybody. I appreciate you watching. I hope this was exciting for you because it's really exciting for me. And I can't wait to start to dive into these stories with you guys on this grand adventure. Thank you so much. I kind of like what he's going for. I like some of the things that he was saying, but I, I, I don't know. I, I, still, I still don't have that much that much faith and, and you take you, you're starting off with Damian Wayne you're starting off as that Robin which is mind-boggling to me because there are so many Robins before him that you have so many stories to tell Dick Grayson's story uh, Jason Todd's story you're skipping an entire series of Dick Grayson and Jason Todd you could do death in the family with Jason Todd where Joker kills Jason Todd and comes back as the Red Hood. That could be a whole slate of movies. Not to mention Tim Drake, uh, Stephanie Brown. You know that took up for uh, Tim Drake when Batman fired Tim Drake. But that's my nerd coming out. But also like you Titans, the the, the HBO series Titans. That's following. You know, comic to an extent, and unfortunately got canceled. Why? I don't know, because it's a fucking great show and you shouldn't have fucking canceled it. It was a great show. So, I don't know, and I, as a fan, as a big fan of Batman, I don't think you should really start off with Damian Wayne, but, you know, who, who, who am I to say? I'm not, I'm not ahead of your DC Studios now. But I really think you should really listen to the fans on this, such as you know, such as myself. Start off with Dick Grayson. It could be in the middle of his career as Robin, and then you know, transition to uh, Jason Todd becoming Robin, and transition in to him becoming Red Hood. Go through that entire storyline. That would be fucking great. And we've had a Swamp Thing TV series. We've seen the origin, and it got canceled. It, and I to, in my opinion, I thought it was fucking fantastic, but and it got canceled. But as far as the Superman, that's the main. Uh, that, that's the main thing apparently with James Gunn. And I feel like it shouldn't be called Superman Legacy. It should be called Superman Men of Tomorrow. But to each his own. Whatever James Gunn, whatever, <laughs> whatever you got cooking up in your head, whatever. Am I still gonna fucking watch this shit i have no idea i lost my faith in dc a long time ago and the nail in the coffin was have not henry henry cavill as superman and ben affleck as as batman that was like that was it for me but i do like the fact that everything 
is going to be integrated between video games, TV shows, and, and, and the movies. Everything is going to be connected. So I like that. That's on the right track. So, mm, I don't know. I'm still, still skeptical about uh, James Gunn's DC Studios. But we'll see. Time will time will tell. Time will definitely tell. And James Gunn, don't bring the rock into this. Don't do it. Do not do it. It'll kill it. Sorry, Dwayne. But I kind of did like Black Adam, but you're just... Whatever, dude. You... <laughs> anyway, that's my thoughts on James Gunn's announcement of his DC Studios. Like comment, subscribe, titty slap that like button. I'll see ya in the next video.